If you're looking to add some interactivity or interest to your site, then this could be the video for you. In this video, we are going to be looking at how to change an image to a different image when the user hovers over top. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca Grace from Rebecca Grace Designs, and I help you push past the limitations of the Squarespace editor using code. So let's jump in. The first thing we need to do is add our images. So what you're going to do is go to the page that you want to add the image blocks on. So I'm going to change this image on hover. So I'm gonna click edit. And you're going to add the image that you want to show when the page is first loaded. So here is my image block here. I find this works best when the design is set to fill, but if you want it set to fit, just make sure that the images you're using are the exact same size, or you may find that they kind of jump or move um, on hover instead of just simply replace the image. So if you're going to use fit, just make sure the image aspect ratios are the exact same before you load them up. Once you have the image you want to show, originally when the page loads all set and ready to go, you're going to click this button here in order to duplicate the block. Then click and drag the block to be over the original block and click to replace the image. You should now have two image blocks loaded on your site with the image that you want to originally show on the bottom and the image you want to show on hover on the top. Make sure that the settings inside the two image blocks are exactly the same. If you've duplicated the block, then this should already be set up. Click save and exit. And then we're going to add some CSS. So you're going to go to design, custom CSS, and you should see this box here. Now, if your screen looks a little bit different, so you use the backslash on your keyboard, which will bring up this search, and you can type in CSS in order to bring up this screen. Then paste the code from below this video and click save. And then we need to edit a few things inside of this CSS. The first is that we need to get the block ID of the image that you want to show on hover. What we're going to do is make that image completely transparent until a user hovers over top, in which case it will then show. So to do that, you can search through the code or you can use a Chrome extension. The Chrome extension I like to use is this Squarespace ID finder. When clicked, it brings up the block ID here. And I'm just gonna replace hashtag block ID with this block ID in both spots. You should see that that image now disappears and click save. So now when I hover over top, the second image, the image that's on top in the editor will show. Now this is set to fade in uh, in 0.5 seconds. If you want to change the speed, then you can change this 0.5 in all three of these spots. Make sure that you're doing it in all three because these apply to different browsers. Once you're happy with it, you can click save and you're done. I suggest you now check out the mobile version of your site to make sure that it still looks nice and mobile friendly. Now we don't have hover on mobile, but what will happen is if the user clicks on the image, then it will change to the second image that you had set. Now that you know how to set an image to change to a different image on hover, I suggest you check out this next video where I go over image sizes and what they should be when using them in Squarespace.